my fellow comic book collectors, it's Alan, the Comic Collector Geek, and these are the hottest Golden Age comics of the week. Before I get started on this video, I just wanted to say a quick thank you to all the people who have subscribed to my channel. Uh, <laughs> I've just recently hit 3,000 subscribers, and I'm super happy about that, and I've done a giveaway contest, so check the link in the description for my giveaway contest, where you can win a cool Archie book. This one right here. <laughs> you can win this. <laughs> so check out that video, put a comment on it, and you have a chance to win. Uh, so let's get into the this week's uh, top 10 comics. They're really great ones too. First is what I'm going to call a steal of the week, and you'll, you'll see why. This is Romantic Adventures number 50. This is from ACG from 1954. It is like the lunatic cover. <laughs> it is probably one of the most bizarre looking covers like this girl is kind of jaundiced looking and she's behind bars in an insane asylum and she just looks like she's crazy <laughs> it's just really great cover um it's by ogden whitney just a phenomenal cover i actually own one i actually owned this comic twice um i had one which i unboxed <laughs> and then it was kind of rough and then I traded it back and got a, you know, had to up, pay to upgrade it. And I only upgraded it to a 1.8. And that was expensive. Um, <laughs> so when I saw this sale, I was like, oh man, did I overpay? Okay, so uh, this was a 2.0 that sold, which is higher than the grade that I got. Uh, and it sold for $660, which is a, a steal. Because there was a few raw sales that sold for this book for like $2,000 in that similar grade. Um, and there was even, there's even a four or five that sold, um, for like 2,100 in, uh, just like in March of this year. <laughs> so, so this was a pretty big steal because I would have expected this book to go for around $1,500 maybe. Um, that would be a little bit more realistic, but 660 was just a really great sale for this book. It is a high record. It's actually the record for this, uh, book. But there's just no previous sales history, so we just don't know. The, as I said, the only one we have to compare it with is a 4.5 that sold for 2100 in March. So, really hard to say. There's, It's not that common of a book. There's only 24 on the census. That's it. So, okay. <laughs> I just thought it was a steal of the week based on those stats. So the next one, number 9 on the list, is Adventure Comics number 41. This is from 1939. Uh, uh, it has an ad for the New York World's Fair in it, uh, 1939. It also has a, a Sandman story inside. Um, but this is a really cool cover. It's just like, um, it's an early adventure comics. Uh, it has like a, a shark cover, underwater cover by uh, Leo O'Melia. And uh, it's just, just a really cool cover. Um, I like shark covers. <laughs> I think they're cool. I try to pick shark covers up all the time. It never seemed to do that well picking them up, but I do try to pick up shark covers. Uh, this was a 5.5 that came up for sale on Heritage, and it sold for $2,400. And the previous record for this book was set back in June of 2020 for $1,599, so just $1 short of $1,600. Uh, so this is up like 50% from that prior record. Um, and it's just a it's a strong sale for a, a cool shark cover. Uh, so this is, there are 39, 38 of these on the census in any grade, and in, uh, in, in any grade, yeah, and uh, 29 of them are universal blue labels. Number eight on the list, and this could be possibly another steal of the week, and I'll get into this one a bit. This is Adventures of Wonder, uh, Rex the Wonder Dog, number four. Uh, this is from DC Comics, uh, 1952, and is the first appearance of Detective Chimp. Um, <laughs> it's just a really great comic, actually. Uh, it's a it's a Gil Kane cover, and it's like, Rex the Wonder Dog is one of those ones that is kind of under the radar. It's more of a challenge to find this book. Uh, it doesn't come up that often. I, I have a raw copy of it as well. Uh, this was a raw one that came up on Heritage again uh, in a 5.0. And it sold for 
$1,680. However, in the CGC notes, uh, it, it, it's denoted that it is a miscut and it has kind of a wonky cut to it. Not too bad, but a bit of a wonky cut, which could uh, make people a little bit nervous about this book because of the fact that of this wonky cut. Uh, they might think it's trimming or something like that, where getting it graded might give you a restored label, even though it, it's a miscut. Um, usually CGC can pick up the fact that it's a miscut, but you know, people could be nervous because of that denotation of the miscut. So I think that's maybe why this one sold for the price that it did. Now, to give you a sense of why this, I think this is a bit of a steal, um, there was a 5.0 uh, blue label that sold for $1,885 in August of 2020. So three years ago, and it sold for $200 more than this 5.0 raw. Um, another thing with the raw, you got to kind of add in the cost of grading. So probably you're looking at like about $100 to $200 for the cost of grading, just because you're going to be in that higher value tier. Uh, and then they always charge that 4% fee, which is really annoying. Um, but they, you know, there, there's going to be extra fees involved for these more expensive books. Uh, so you get estimated like an extra couple hundred dollars. So this is within that uh, being equivalent to that 5, uh, 5.0 re like blue label. Uh, but it's, it's one of those ones where I feel like, you know, probably it should have gone up a bit more over time. So you would have expected to sell maybe for that, uh, I always said $2,000 range. Um, so this was kind of a weird one. Um, there was actually a 4.0 that sold, which I know is a lower grade. Uh, and it sold for $2,400 back in June of 2022. Um, now there was a hype back then around the DC uh, Super Pets movie. <laughs> so there was a bit of hype around it, maybe kind of increased the prices for this book. Uh, but Detective Chimp didn't appear in the Super Pets movie. And um, so there's a little bit of, um, you know, debate about whether or not this was a higher price back then and has dipped, or if it was a steal. I don't know. It's it's just an interesting one. There, it's a pretty rare comic, actually. Uh, there are only uh, 24 of these on the census and 23 of them are universal blue labels so just an interesting one first detective chimp just a cool book rex the wonder dog number four okay number seven on the list <laughs> is terrific comics terrific comics number four from continental 1944 it is a paratrooper just coming down <laughs> and he is shooting like it looks like he has like a machine gun and he's shooting like this um, a Japanese pilot in the head <laughs> and blood's like spewing out of his mouth. It is a pretty cool classic World War II cover. Um, and uh, yeah, just just a cool cover by Rudy Pleas. Uh, and um, is actually rated as a scarce book by Gerber. So usually a Gerber 7. Uh, so just a interesting comic. Uh, this was a 2.5 that came up for sale and uh, it sold for $2,160. Now this is a new record because there were no previous records for this book uh, in this grade. However, there was a 3.5 that sold in uh, November of 2022 for $1,368. And uh, so this is above, you know, this $2,160 is above the 3.5 that sold. And it's actually above a 4.5 that sold back in November of 2020 for $1,920. So it's actually a record, even in like the lower grades, it is the record of all the lower grades. Now there were a few higher grades that sold for more, but even up to a 4.5, this is the record. <laughs> so just... The fact that it sold at such a high price for a 2.5 really says a lot about this book, that this book has really performed well. I'd say it's gone for about double of what uh, what you would have expected it to go for. Um, so really strong sale for this book. There are 26 of these on the census and 23 of them are universal blue labels. 
So just a really cool sale um, for a scarce book. So uh, number six on the list is Weird Tales of the Future, number seven. Uh, this is from Aragon uh, and uh, 1953. It's a Bernard Bailey cover. It's a cool cover. Actually, I really love this cover. It, um, the, the Weird Tales of the Future uh, have just amazing covers. Usually it's either Bernard Bailey or um, Basil Warburton covers, and it's just like these really cool covers. But this one is a classic. Uh, it's, it's got this big devil head, and it's from its mouth are like streaming out monsters, like mummies and cyclopses and ghouls and werewolves. And it's just like a really cool parade of monsters pouring out of this devil's mouth. And it's just a great cover. Um, and this was a 2.0 that came up for sale on Heritage. Uh, and it sold for $2,520. Now this is a new record because there are no <laughs> prior records in this grade. Uh, there was a 2.5 though that sold back in um, March of 2020 for $850. So this is like three times <laughs> what the 2.5 the had sold for. Uh, there was a 3.5 a that sold for um, uh, wait, uh, actually, sorry, 3.0 that sold for 2000, two, uh, 2828 dollars in uh, uh, no, October of 2021. So this is just a strong sale, like really close to that 3.0 sale uh, in terms of price. So just, <laughs> just a really strong sale for this book. Um, as I said, it's about three times what the prior record for higher grade had sold for. Um, and it's just a really great cover. I think pre-code horror is kind of a little bit hot right now. And uh, this book kind of shows that. Th there are 56 of these on the census and 50 of them are universal blue labels. Number five on the list is New Adventure Comics number 31. This is from October of 1938. Uh, it's actually the last issue in the run of New Adventure Comics, and it became Adventure Comics afterwards. <laughs> so it went from new to just Adventure Comics. Um, but this is a really cool one because it's like got this Eskimo and like his little his little boat and he's fighting a polar bear, which is, you know, it's a cool cover. Uh, the early ad Adventure Comics were really not superhero related. Uh, they were more uh, these kind of cool adventure stories. Um, later on uh, in adventure comics you see like Superman and you see like early golden age characters being uh, showcased. So this is one of those ones before that time period. Now this is also a very scarce book. Uh, it's a Gerber 7 and it's a Craig Fessel cover. Flessel. Flessel cover. Sorry. Um, this was a, a raw 4.5 that sold, and it sold for $3,000. Now, there are no prior records to compare this to in a 4.5. Uh, the last graded sale <laughs> was for a 5.5 uh, for $1,250. And that was, I think that was in 2017, if I remember correctly. Um, which, which means it just doesn't sell that often. You don't see this book often. That's why it's a Gerber 7, because it's very rare that you see this book and it just doesn't sell enough to really make it easy to figure out how much these books are worth. Um, the fact is though, it's still sold for almost three times what uh, the 5.5 five graded copy had sold for. So very, very strong sale. And I think part of the reason for that is it doesn't sell that often. So when a book comes up, and if it's a, if it, even if it's a raw, people are willing to kind of pay up for it because they might not see it again for several years. <laughs> um, this was, uh, there are 18 of these on the census and 15 of them are universal blue labels. It's a pretty hard book to find. Um, the next one, uh, number four on the list is More Fun Comics number seven. Uh, this is from DC Comics 1936. It is actually not a standardized comic. Um, 
It's slightly bigger than the regular standard size comics that we know today. Uh, it wasn't until More Fun Comics number nine we get the very first standardized comic. So this is <laughs> a comic before there were comics. Um, it's actually an interesting one. It's got like this kind of like winter time like paneled uh, story on the cover. And you know, you see a snowman, you see her skiing, you see her playing snowball fights. It's kind of an interesting little story on the cover. Um, but this book is so rare. <laughs> Um, it's a Gerber 7, again, uh, but in, well, it's considered scarce, but it's just so rare that there's zero on the census. There is just none on the census, and there is no sales records, or no sales history for this book. Um, so it's one of those books that you only see raw, so that, you know, both GPA and uh, Go Collect don't have it on their records, <laughs> so you don't know how much this book would go for. It's like one that you really are going in blind when you bid on it. But it doesn't obviously come up for sale very often, so people are willing to kind of pay up for it. Now, it was a, a 1.5 raw copy that came up for sale, and it sold for $3,120. Just a massive sale for a book that it's really hard to figure out the price for it. Uh, as I said, there's zero on the census, zero sales record, a sales history. So it's just one that anyone's guess how much it's worth. Now, how do you figure out how much this book might be worth? Well, you compare it to other books within the series. So uh, More Fun uh, 6 or More Fun uh, 5 or More Fun 8, <laughs> you know, you compare it to those and you see what those would generally go for. And that kind of gives you a sense of maybe how much this book might go for. But it is really hard to determine the value of these books because they just don't sell. <laughs> you don't, you just don't see them on the census. Um, very rare books. Uh, so an interesting one. I just thought that was really a cool one uh, to deal with. Uh, where, what can I say? Is it, it's a record <laughs> because there's no other sales history. Okay, number three on the list is uh, Thrilling Comics number 44. This is from Better Publishing uh, from 1944. It's an Alex Schomburg cover. It's a great, uh, you see Hitler in a car with a bunch of um, Nazis, and you see uh, Doctor Strange coming down in a parachute, and punching one of the Nazis in the face. <laughs> it's, just like, it's a great cover. Uh, you know, Alex Schomburg is the man for making really, really great covers. Um, this was a 4.5 that came up for sale, and it sold for $3,360. Um, again, uh, this is a new record. Uh, the previous record for this book was set back in March of 2016 for $836.50. <laughs> <laughs> so just like, you know, blew that record out of the water, you know, almost four times what the previous record was. But that was like, many years ago, so, you know, you'd expect it to go up a bit, but, you know, four times is quite a lot. Um, there was a 7.0 that was sold uh, in June of this year for $3,840, so only $500 more. So you can see that this this is a strong sale uh, for a 4.5. Um, you know, you would have expect maybe a $2,800 sale based on the 7.0, but for it to sell for 3300 that's a really strong sale. It's a really, really big sale for this book. Um, and it's just a classic cover. That's what it is. Uh, people really love these Alex Schomburg Nazi <laughs> Hitler cover. It's got Hitler on the cover. Hitler looks a little goofy, which is always great. Um, so yeah, that's it, it's one that appeals to collectors. Uh, these World War II covers from time, um, from better publishing really do uh, get some attention from collectors. Uh, there are 52 of these on the census and 51 of them are Universal Blue Labels. Next one on the list is Marvel Mystery Comics number 25. This is a timely comic from 1941, another Alex Schomburg cover, and you get a really interesting uh, situation in this book because it is a Marvel team-up. It's a Marvel get together, that's what they call it, they, they denote it as, because you have a, a Nazi firing squad and you got 
Submariner and another guy, um, basically um, in bondage on a wall. And you got the firing squad about to kill them. And then you get the Human Torch coming in and saving the day. So you get a true team up between uh, the Human Torch and Submariner. So just a interesting book that you have these uh, this team up. Uh, so this is a 5.5 that sold, uh, and it sold for $4,320. Uh, that's a new record <laughs> because there's no prior records in this grade. Um, however, a 5.0 sold back in 2019, November uh, 2019, for $1,040. So well above, <laughs> like another four times what the 5.0 had sold for. Uh, there was actually um, a 60 that sold for uh, $1,050 in uh, 2016. This book doesn't sell that often. Um, however, the most recent sale that I could find for this book was a 1.5 that sold for um, $1,849 in uh, June of uh, uh, 2023. So this book just doesn't sell that often. And when it sells, people pay up for it. <laughs> it's just, you know, it's a really strong sale for this book. Uh, there are 59 of these on the census and 47 of them are universal blue labels. Number one on the list, Adventure Comics number 44. This is from December of 1939. It's actually the third cover appearance of the Sandman. And it's his first appearance in his signature green suit. So you see him on the cover in his signature green suit and uh, in the interior, of course. So this is one of those books where it's really where you see the Sandman in the way that we know this, this character. And that adds a lot of value to this book. Um, so this is a Craig Flessel cover again, another Craig Flessel. Um, and this book was a 5.5 that sold and it sold for $5,160. Uh, this is a really big sale because um, the record for this grade was set back in March of 2017 for $2,033. So basically two and a half times what it had sold for in the past. Um, and to give you a sense of how big of a sale this was, there was a 6.5 that sold last week. So only one week, <laughs> one week ago. And the 6.5, which is a you know, full grade point higher, well, it sold for $4,850. Um, so just, you know, the fact that a 5.5 had sold for $300 more than the 6.5 had sold for a week ago, it's a strong sale. Um, there are 44 of these on the census and 31 of them are universal blue labels. So what do you think about these books? Uh, what do you think about these scarce ones? There was a lot of scarce books on this list. Um, and how do you, how would you go about determining the value of those books? Love to hear people's feedback on that one. And did you enjoy the list? If so, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.